I can explain. Shanae told me that twists would look cute. I have really just, this does not scream going in sexy at all. At all, at all. Can I show up to work like this on, on Saturday? Boy, mm -mm, I cannot. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Janine, and if you guys are not new, then hello, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing because that is definitely free to do. So, you know, you can go ahead and subscribe. So today I wanted to share with you guys this protective style that I did on my hair just now, okay? Hi guys, so I am done twisting up my hair. And I just snapped my friend and I'm just like, Jesus, why did I let you convince me to do this? She was saying to twist it up because, you know, afterwards I could do twist outs or whatever. And I have twisted my hair before. I'm going to show you guys a picture of how it looked when I did twist it. But when I did twist it, I didn't wear it down. I wore it up and, you know, so I don't really know. I don't really know. But I'm going to need to figure this out by now and like tomorrow evening to see if I'm keeping them. I did put some product on there and I did show you guys the product that I did put on there. So you guys can see because I feel like the one thing that I get questions about the most is what I actually use on my natural hair. I feel like for people who are trying to like grow their natural hair or I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it actually is. But people definitely always ask me what I use on my hair. I think I'll just pull it back like this a little bit because right now I look like I'm five and that wasn't really necessarily the look that I was going for. I need to get a small elastic band.
Um, normally when I do protective styles, I'll wear wigs. Wigs are a very big protective style for me because I could get to completely put my hair away and not do anything to it, no manipulation or anything, just braid it back and wear the wigs. Then I wear the wigs for a week, take it off, wash it, put it right back on. I take it off at night so I'm able to oil my scalp in between wearing the wigs. And when I say oil my scalp, this is what I use, virgin hair fertilizer. Now, I've known about this thing for years and one of my friend hair on YouTube, she used to use it on her hair. And I remember um, reaching out to her one time and asking her, does that thing really work or you know what's the tea and she pretty much was telling me that it does work however i didn't really get into it because honestly i was not one who was going for you know hair growth and whatever initially when i did my big chop i just wanted my hair to grow up enough where i'm able to put it up in one now i have more than enough hair to be able to put it in one so i wasn't really going for hair growth i still am not but i get a i have a really itchy scalp and it does get dry and it's good to moisturize your hair and like all your scalp and stuff like that so my mom came and I seen her using this and I was flabbergasted when I seen her using this because I've known about it for so long and I never attempted it and to see my mom come from Jamaica and she was using it I'm just like all right whatever this is probably the universe saying girl buy it it sells at your job for $3.99 I know where it sells and everything and it's $3.99 so it's not too expensive so I could buy it so I told my mom that it's I um it sells at my job and she asked me to buy three for her so I bought it and one day she rubbed some in my hair and I'm like, okay, it, it has a cooling sensation when you just put it in, like 10, 15 minutes after you put it in, when you have it in. And so she put it in there and I'm like, okay, this is not bad. And then it, you know, it wore off and I just kept using it for a while. And when she was leaving, I'm like, all right, I need to buy my own. So I bought three of it and I'm completely obsessed with it. And I don't like when people say they're obsessed with things, but this right here is worth the money. I've realized that, you know, since I've been using it, my hair has been growing. That's not something that I need, but at least it's not just at the same point. Even though I get frustrated sometimes, hair growth is still good. As long as you have healthy hair, then that is good. You guys can see how far it's actually falling and it's kind of shrinking up right now because obviously that is exactly what natural hair does, but this is where this is the extended length of it and this week i was going back and forth between if i wanted to straighten my hair if i wanted to just braid it back and put the wigs on because i do wear the wigs like i said as a protective style but when i wear the wig i don't wear it for more than a month before i take my hair out and let my hair breathe so um this is me letting my hair breathe right now i'm not and this is one protective style that i've done before and i just did it just to see how it would look at the time that i did do it and i actually liked it so my friend convinced me last night to try some twist outs and i'm like girl you know the experience i had with twist outs before but then i remembered just now that i twisted my hair before and actually wore it twisted for like a week or so and you know it was okay so i decided to twist it up again so to begin with i use this to oil my scalp and then this is what i put on this is what i put on the extended portions of my hair as you guys will be able to see because obviously i show you guys how you know, I twist my hair up and stuff. So this product says, one, it smells really, really good. It says it's coconut milk and it is a hydrating curling cream. Did it curl my hair up when I used it on my hair out? Yes, it did. Um, did my hair feel hydrated? Yes, it did. So I feel like this is one of those products that it actually does what it says. You know, there are products that when you use it, you don't be seeing what it's advertising. But this is one that actually does what it says. And I really, really like it. Can I say, oh my gosh, go use your money and buy it because I've been using it for a while. No, I've had it for like a month tops. And I was barely using it. But I really, really like what it does to my hair. So if you guys are looking to try protective styles, then twisting your hair up is a good protective style. I think when I go in and do some refreshers i'm gonna try and do the twists either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller i'm waiting to see when they have completely shrunken up to see how they look and what they do and then from there i'll decide what i want to do and um how i want to keep it but for the most part when i do my hair like this i definitely keep it 
either like this or I'll wear it up because I don't have time and I'm very lazy so I'm that person who wants to do one thing once and it lasts me for a couple of days without me having to get up in the mornings and comb my hair because for that I could definitely just put the wig on and not have to deal with my hair so this is definitely one style that absolutely works for me and I love that you know and like I said when I'm ready I'll just put the whole thing up in like a little ponytail or whatever and just call it a day because I want to be lazy Last week when I washed my hair, what I did was I parted it down the middle, same part that it has right now, and I did two braids and, you know, that kept me for a week. But I felt like in the middle of the braids, I didn't oil my hair before, I didn't oil my scalp before, so I felt like inside of the middle of the braids, it was dry, so it was so itchy. So I found myself going in and having to, like, itch it like crazy a day after I've braided it down or whatever, so I couldn't wait to come home to, like, unbraid it and squirt some oil in the middle of there and then I was okay for a little bit but with this now I'm able to go through and like oil it in the mornings or like at night and stuff and know that my scalp is not dry because it's getting adequate oil okay so definitely love that for me some of the twists look like something is wrong with them but you know this is a judgment-free zone and that's not the point I really think that these little twists make me look like I'm five years old See, no, that's the problem with me and and these damn protective styles because I feel like, okay, great, I'm 26, all right? I don't want to be out here looking like a five-year-old. When I did it the last time, too, that was my dilemma, that I just looked like a freaking five-year-old with it. They weren't, I don't know. That's why I that's how I ended up um just completely putting them back because I looked like a child and that doesn't exactly scream grown and sexy. <laughs> so um that was not it at all. So at least when I put it up like this I look like 12. Okay. Bye. Baby, am I? We should be closer than friends. I